Welcome again to another edition of A Closer Look with Gary Gilbranson, and I am Gary Gilbranson. I want to talk to you today about how we experience God's guidance in our life. I firmly believe that God has a plan for every single one of us, and He's not tried to confuse us in understanding what that plan is all about. I grew up in the days when Campus Crusade was going to beaches around the world and going to college campuses and sharing the four spiritual laws, the first of which is God loves you and has a wonderful plan for your life. And that plan includes identifying our sinfulness and understanding what God did to provide for our salvation. But his plan also includes guiding us step by step, day by day. And I've come to some conclusions about how God guides. Uh, let me share those with you. Number one, I think God guides us through scripture, through commanding scripture. I love what uh, the writer of Proverbs had to say about this when he said, you can trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understandings in all your ways acknowledge God and he will direct your path. That's his promise to us. But it's a promise that's attached to obedience. It's a promise that's attached to trust. God commands in his scriptures some things that he wants his people to do and we need to know his word. Secondly, God sometimes shows us his plan through his compelling spirit. When the Spirit comes to live in us, that Spirit is there to help guide us, to bring us to the truth of God's Word, but also to give us little nudges that we need once in a while to take steps for God in our world. Then there's this sense of, of not only uh, judging the Spirit as a part of our lives, but there's also this sense of, of common sense. Once in a while, God just wants us to use our heads. Uh, he gave us a brain. He helps us to see the world around us uh, uh, through His eyes and with His wisdom. And sometimes it's just plain common sense. I do a lot of pre-marriage counseling and I talk with couples about the common sense issues that brought them together. Uh, was there a strong attraction? Did they share some common interests? Uh, even in their differences, are the differences that draw them together or push them apart? That's common sense. And God will use common sense to help us understand his plan. God will also, at times, use the counsel of saints. He'll put us in a relationship. That's another reason why church is so important for us. It's to be in relationship with people who have had some experiences we haven't had who can help us gain from their wisdom. And we need to be involved with people who can speak into our lives that way. And then sometimes just our circumstances are gonna lead us to understand what God is doing in our life. He's put us in unique circumstances at a unique time in life, and he uses that to direct our paths. So bring those things together in a single line and you can have some confidence that God is at work in leading you. Uh, I trust that you're already doing some of those kinds of things. Uh, if not, we'd like to help you with it here at Westminster Chapel. And as we've said at the end of these little blogs, uh, we've got a couple of services you can come and we're going to talk about God's Word and help you understand what it has to say. We're going to introduce you to a spirit who's active in your life. We'll introduce you to people who might give you some guidance. Uh, we're going to help you redefine your circumstances, all the things I've talked about. So that's a part of coming to church and experiencing that community and faith and worship. But there are other ways that we can connect with you as well. So go to our website, figure out what we're all about, or give me a call. You can call me at 425-747-1461, and somebody here will answer the phone, and they'll direct you to me. Love to have that conversation. God bless you as he leads you.